Hey guys, Josh from Trail Built here with Jordy from our friends at Anthem Wheels. Jordy does all of their graphic designs. So if you guys haven't already checked out Anthem Wheels, you gotta check them out. It's anthemwheels.com? Yes. Anthemwheels.com. So today we are back in front of you guys because we're doing another episode where we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rate your guys' rigs. If you haven't already, go ahead, go to our website, it's trailbuildoffroad.com, upload your guys' vehicles to our gallery. That way uh, you have a chance for us to do a video and we're gonna rate your rig. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. We have our first one picked out here. Uh, it is a 2009 Jeep Wrangler JK, uh, actually a JKU, it's a four door, and it has American Racing, Dale Earnhardt Jr. 17 by eight and a half inch wheels. And then it has the, uh, one of my favorite tires, the Milestar Patagonia's, the Mud Terrains. It has a set of 31570 uh, tires on there. And then it has a four inch Rough Country uh, suspension lift. It definitely has a pretty nice stance. Um, looking at this one, it looks like it's, it looks like it's set up pretty decent. Yeah, it's, it's got a nice layout. Do you have to point out this person took really good pictures? Yeah, actually, yeah, these are. If you want a reference on how to take pictures, yeah. definitely take a look at this. Yeah, a nice are... angling of the wheels. They really appreciate their vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you were saying, it, it has a nice flow to it. Looks like it has some pretty nice rock sliders on there, some yeah. steps, rock sliders. A rear, pretty heavy duty rear bumper on there. That's pretty nice. Makes me think of a mullet, you know, ready to <laughs> party ready in the for front business and, and, yeah. and business. What is a business all up front and party in the rear? Yeah, that's what it makes me think of. You can take this into town, but also go out into the wilderness. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Pretty nice looking. Yeah. Good stance on it. I like it. I dig it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rate this one and I'm just gonna count down from three, two, one and then we're gonna spit out a number either from one to 10, obviously 10 being the best. So um, we'll go ahead and start that countdown. Three, two, one, eight. Seven. Seven, awesome. Yeah. And you get it a seven? Seven, cause this is kind of personal preference. I know it's different for everyone. I am not a fan of the chrome wheels. I. Personally, I think in a situation like this, everything on it is black. So just keeping it along the lines of black, like either like, do you guys have the milled or the mm -hmm. matte? Just, just along there, but I know they want their wheels to pop out. So in this situation could be give or take. Personally, it's just a personal preference with black. Um, I gave it an eight. Uh, looks like it's pretty capable. Um, obviously being a Jeep, a four door Jeep, four inch lift, that's a pretty good mm -hmm. setup, good combination there. 315s, uh, roughly about a 34, 34 and a half inch tire. Um, so good crown clearance under the axles, different things like that. So uh, I do like the fact that it has the aftermarket bumpers on yep. it with the recovery hooks. Um, that's always important while off-roading. I like the fact that it has the winch on it, the rock slider, so it's got armor. So it has a lot of those mm -hmm. you know, features, um, those functionality features that are, are useful for when you're off-roading. So I, I gave it an eight for those. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next one, which is going to be 2014 Jeep Wrangler JTKU. It has the Anthem Aviators. Yes. Go Anthem, that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, uh, 33 inch by 12 and a half wide, and it has a two and a half inch JKS lift. So that's pretty cool, JKS makes a nice brand. Rock Siders, another aftermarket off-road bumper, mm -hmm. which I don't know if you guys already know, but we do offer off-road bumpers through Rough Country on our website, also TerraFlex in the accessories tab. So if you didn't already know, you can check them out, trailbuildoffroad.com, and then just hit the accessories tab. You'll see all of the accessories that we have for your Jeep or off-road vehicle. So three, two, one, seven. Six. Huh, it's interesting. A little one behind yeah. you. Was, yeah. Yeah. So six, even though it's got anthems, still a I six, know, huh? I know. That's, uh, I guess because, so with this Jeep, like looking at it, like I like the aftermarket bumper, like he said, but at the same time, like taking it out into nature and whatnot, it just doesn't like give me that like, oh yeah, let's go climb over this boulder type feel. Uh, and then it's not so high up, I feel like it might get a little hmm. stuck. 
but I don't know too much. Yeah, cool, awesome. Well, thanks for that submission, and we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. The Holy next smokes, one. look at this. Wow. Bad boy, that's pretty sweet. So this is a 2008 Toyota Tundra. <laughs> Coincidentally, here's another one with Anthem wheels, yeah. which is pretty cool. Anthem, uh, Anthem definitely makes some awesome wheels. They have some great designs, good functionality, um, and their company for what they stand behind is pretty cool. This one here has the 20 inch negative 24s, so it has quite a bit of offset. Mm -hmm. um, has the again the Milestar Patagonias. This one, these are the XTs though, not the uh, MTs, and they're 37 inch on 37 inch by 12 and a half wide on a seven inch zone. So it's it's built up pretty decent. Yep. <clears throat> go through and check out. Ooh, color flip. Yeah, that's pretty fancy. I dig that. It's like a Halloween decoration. I don't mean that in I any offense. I don't know offense. if they want that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like this is like off-road ready to party type truck. Like, you know, after going off-road, you hit the country bar and you whip this bad boy out and go get a few brewskis. The boys. Yeah. That, does, that definitely is a good description. I would... That's what I would do if I had this truck. Cool. Well, I suppose. Um, have I'm a number? Ready. Yep. Okay. I got one. I got a number two, so we'll go ahead and count down. I almost said 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10, 8, eight 4. I'm not really sure. I wasn't even really thinking of a number on that I one. Just, I got distracted with you counting down from so many and then I forgot. I'm like, uh, what did I have? Uh, I think I would probably, I mean, I think I, a six, I guess, probably about what I would oh, give it. Wow. It's a sharp looking truck. I, I, well, I guess a, I'm more of the truck world. You're more of the Jeep world. So being from the truck world, I appreciate, like, I really like it with hmm. all the, um, the differences in the lighting and aftermarket add-ons. Pretty sharp looking in a truck and has the anthems and... So I, with this, with it being a truck, I I personally enjoy that it's lifted up. Uh, the last one wasn't lifted for the Jeep and this is lifted up. It also has the flash of color on the wheel just like the last one, but I personally like the whole blackout look, which was my reasoning for the first one, if you remember mm -hmm. that Jeep. It had chrome wheels. This one is all black. It hits all the things I was looking for in the last two, all in one here, and mm -hmm. plus it's a truck, which Anthem deals more with trucks, so it's just got to do that brand flair. Absolutely. It's a good point. It's a good reason. Yeah, I went with a six. I mean, I like it. I do. Uh, it's a sharp looking vehicle. Uh, it's a little bit more flashy than, I mean, I, I don't know, and like I said, I'm more of a functional, even though it's got the lift and it's got, you know, decent tires on it and it does have the functional bumpers, recovery points, um, it'd be, for one, a little bit too big for me for out on the trail. Um, it would be a good, or actually it'd be a great tow rig, uh, mm -hmm. a fan of, definitely a fan of the Toyota Tundras. Um, so I just didn't think of this as like a wheeling rig, so I gave it a six. Moving cool. on last to final. our last one. So it's a 2009 Hummer H3T with 20 inch fuel assault Ooh. wheels. These um, wheels are nice. 12 inch wide and negative 43 offset. <clears throat> Has the Nitto Mud Grapplers and 37 inch by 13 and a half Nitto Mud Grapplers and a custom suspension lift. So let's see what was all inches. done to it. Yeah, that's it's quite a whole a bit. foot. Wow. I suppose with the. I hope they have a ladder. Uh, you know, the more I look at these pictures, the more I, I like this truck. Yeah, I know, me too. That front picture that just kind of threw the it off. The initial one, yeah. yeah. But Ooh, like seeing this, this bad boy in action. Yeah. Like, it's kind of exciting. I like it. I dig it. It's got the snorkel yeah. on it. It's got the roof rack. It's got the coilover suspension. It's got the 37s on there. It's I got the off road bumpers, the rock sliders. Don't know how I feel about the exhaust coming out the top. Is there a reason for that? Or is that just like aesthetics? No, that's a snorkel. Okay. That's where it breathes in, the air in. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That's. <laughs> let's cut that out. That question. Leave that in there. No. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the more I know. It's cool. So, uh, got a number? Yeah. Okay. I got it. Me too. All right. Three, two, one. Nine, nine point six. Wow. Nine. You can do points. I don't know. I just did. 
<laughs> so I guess my reasoning for giving a nine is I feel like it's perfect for going off-road and everything, but day-to-day -day reasoning, it wouldn't be the best, but obviously you wouldn't take this out on like the roads and everything. It's good though, I love seeing it in action. Again, great examples of what, like if you guys are gonna send in pictures, show what you do with it. It's, and make sure they're quality. This is, I wish our Anthem people did this. If you're Anthem, watch this, do this, please. It makes my life easier too. And it is beautiful. Awesome, yeah, I gave it a 9.6. You know, it's got the coilovers, it's got the mm -hmm. solid axle swap up front. That's awesome. Uh, definitely looks like a very capable, very functional rig. It's super functional. Um, that's definitely important. The bumpers, there's a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of probably money stuck into this thing. <laughs> um, it's got a lot of cool stuff. Definitely, definitely nice build. Very cool. Awesome. Appreciate, appreciate the submission. It. Looks good. Yeah. Cool. Bring well, it. that has been our. Uh, rating of your guys' rigs. We pick out five of them, so if you guys wanna have your rig rated, just go ahead, go to our website, trailbuildoffroad.com, uh, go to the gallery, hit add, upload some good pictures, especially if they're off-road, uh, but make sure there's some high definition pictures, make sure that you guys have a really good description of all the stuff that you've done to your rig, so we can go through, we can check it out. Um, Jordy, it's definitely been a pleasure having you Thanks here for, having for the me. first time on a Rating Your Rigs episode. We appreciate it. Uh, we always love to have Anthem support and vice versa. So uh, if you guys have anything else, uh, any other questions about any of these rigs, go ahead, let us know, drop them in the comments below. Other than that, that's all we have for you guys. So as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you guys can hold on to the ride with us. We appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt. This is Jordy from Anthem, and we'll see you guys next time.